Hi friends, today we are going to talk about one very important thing that's used everywhere you go in a SAP project. Okay, so I'm going to SW01, that's a business object builder, and uh, there you do the coding, most of the coding in uh, SAP workflow. So what happens is generally the trend is you have a custom workflow. First, you create a subtype of the standard business object, and then you uh, delegate it. Okay, once you have delegated, lots of times it may happen that by default, all the business objects that are created. Okay, so I'll just show you. So BKPF, by default, everything which is standard, okay, has, if you go to go to, click on go to basic data, there's defaults. The method is always display. So there is maybe a requirement that uh, they want that method to come as change. So how you can do that? So what you are going to do, you are going to create a custom subtype, okay, a children, and then you are going to change the method for here. And that's it. In that way, when you are doing a binding to binding process, you get a link and this will open up. Like if you want edit, if you want to show a custom screen and all those things, you should never ever change the standard business object. What you are going to change is the child which is zst11 okay i think it's bkpf i think that was it right no it's, it's d this one BKPF. and you go to basic data and here you can always change it to something but never ever first of all you will not have authorization but never ever change a standard business object so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great